Hey guys, we're talking about the Cup Series All-Star Race this weekend at North Wilkesboro. Now, this is where I'm at, okay? And it's not because we're, we're leaving Darlington that had a... You want to talk volatility in NASCAR and DFS sports? You want to talk about a, a bankroll burner, man? A lot of weekends like Darlington, man, and some people aren't going to be able to survive in the DFS space. That is one where not only Cup and Xfinity had issues, but, and then, like, even if you played Darlington right, man, you still had your Reddick run into issues, you still had, you know, your Chris Buescher run into an issue, you had Larson run into an issue, like, I mean, Darlington was, was pretty brutal across the board, you know, so it, it's not because we're leaving that, but it's because of the format and everything we have to deal with for this all-star race, you know, the fact that we have, we'll have 17 of the 20 guys determine, you know, post Saturday's heat races, for the inside and the outside lanes, but then we still have, you know, we still have the open and that we're taking three drivers from, and then even the qualifying for the heat races, I know I'm like bouncing back and forth, but even the qualifying for the heat races will then be determined by, you know, the average of the three lap plus the green flag pit stop with the pit crews and stuff, and so like just for me, or my own perspective, I'm like, okay, cool, time to, time to let off the accelerator a little bit and just let NASCAR do its thing, play like six seven lines for the uh, for the achievements and crowns and just uh just just enjoy the 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 weekend being chill and calm and everything um just due to the the volatility of this uh contest now I, I was talking to one of my friends on tuesday about this um and he's one of those guys that uh, tr traditionally loves the not he traditionally loves the non-traditional uh races and, and weekends and stuff like he loves the clash he loved, you know, the Bristol races, uh, the dirt races, and he loves Wilkesboro just because it's so drastically different. This is, you know, situations where he ends up chasing and playing more, uh, whereas I'm like, I I'm just gonna back out and not and and, and not completely just uh, waste my time and 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 do stuff. The fact that we also have 20 cars in this field is pretty important. I mean, we know the seven, we know 17 of those guys are gonna be in here, but depending on where they're at in terms of the salary and what the cheapest we end up getting. Like, that'll all be huge. The fact that the contest is still scored with a 40-car system, um, just 20 cars. I mean, it's basically the, just the clash on steroids. That's, uh, that's where I'm at. And because of that, we're going to understand where guys are good from practice, from their heats. Okay, we should have a good idea of where people are at. And I know that we have the different tire compounds and everything in this race as well but where i'm at where i view things i can't imagine too many people get off sequence okay the fact that i mean and there's also possible weather in the area just because it's been raining this entire weekend and messing up the uh the short track guys and their schedules and stuff so we we have a lot of variables entering sunday's race i know we have you know the two drastically different drastically different um asphalt tire the soft compound on the regular one i'm not using this as a oh it's going to be bristol again because you know bristol is pretty much a big outlier in, in general with how cold it was and what it did to the goodyear rubber and stuff but there's a real argument to be, to be made that goodyear might be bringing a tire that is so soft it yes it'll fall off it'll be slow it won't be worth it but it might lead to like tire failures having to pin under a green flag um losing tires tires going down and stuff and like just a lot of unknowns with that uh because of the unknowns i don't foresee like one or two drivers just getting different and off sequence with the tire compound um i envision a majority of the field is going to stay pretty much the same depending on when we get the last yellows and stuff or how things are going like i just don't think we're going to see cars on islands on like tire strategy and stuff like that i just think I just don't foresee that making sense in the in the moment for these cars and for these teams. So yet again, like, dude, come on, we got better things to do than uh, than, than playing the, this All Star event. Um, I will talk the truck series stuff real fast. I, I mean, that's my opinion. I'm still gonna be live Sunday. I still don't even know when that's gonna be exactly because depending on what the schedule is going to, I'd like to be live post the end of the open so we can talk about the entire. Um, field and everything but maybe it's going on too late maybe it's rainy maybe they have to change stuff up whatever the case may be that is very much to be determined and i will let you guys know on twitter uh where i'm going live saturday uh for the truck series i'll be live um 
set or when I'll be live Sunday for the open. It's already I'll be live for the truck series um, around the regular time since we get qualifying done Friday. But when we look at the truck series, and I know I haven't had anything on screen. I just we just haven't really needed it. I'll go ahead and, and move it to this now. So when we're looking at just you know where the truck series is, uh, and this is this is going to include uh, a Bristol dirt race, I believe. We got to do less than one mile in length. We get rankings, and it should be Eckes, uh, Himes, and Majeski, and it is because it's been these three guys here. I mean, it was Majeski and, and uh, Eckes at Martinsville. I mean, when we're looking back, we're just going to look at these last couple races for these teams here. And so, like, where I'm at, uh, if I was, like, going to be looking at data and stuff like that. Now, Bristol is, at this point, you know, where I'm at. Typically, I'd, I'd usually want to look at the flatter tracks, IRP, Martinsville, Gateway, North Wilkesboro, and stuff like that, Richmond. But honestly, like the, the Bristol data is is just as fine. It really is. We're seeing the same guys be fast in these tracks. It, it's not as big as a discrepancy as it used to be. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. Like if you were, if you're bored, and you look at the uh, correlation between tracks in like different generation cars in a different series it's drastically different than what we have today like you would not be seen i mean you would have faster guys but like if you're looking at like mid 2000s nascar and you're like looking at bristol and then martinsville races like those aren't necessarily lining up as well as they do now in these races and stuff but like we like for the most part, we know who's going to be fast in this truck series field. It's just going to be um, where do they end up qualifying? What do they show in practice? It's going to be very very difficult for somebody to display fast speed in practice and be slow in the race. And it's going to be very hard for someone to be slow in practice and to be fast in the race. The fact that we have thirty eight guys fighting for thirty six spots um, is uh, I was gonna say interesting is good because we're gonna lose the, the the slowest two guys. I would assume it's it's Carroll and Hutchinson's, but it might be Green as well. Um, but we'll just see what happens there. When we're looking at uh, Butterbean, uh, seventy two hundred dollars. Uh, this is where my thought process is, or I was gonna say are where where it's at. When we're looking at what when Ty Majeski did for these late model fellows. I think it left a bad taste in people's mouths because if you remember that Ty Majeski had honestly probably the most horrendous and bad luck to a NASCAR career that you could have. Okay. The fact that he was involved in the Roush 60 car, which was absolutely notoriously cursed by him, Cindric, everybody who hopped in that car crashed and DNF'd and stuff. And that was like Majeski's big break and it just didn't pan out. And he disappears and he comes back to the truck series and he's running with Nice and he's involved in wrecks. He's running into issues. He flips over at Daytona, you know, and now he's like, you know, he's at Tricon and he's actually having, you know, decent runs and he's still running into bad luck. Like this, this past race at Kansas was just a, like, that's Majeski's luck. That's how it is. Um, but he's just as accomplished as everybody else coming through. When we look at what, um, I just went blank on his name, uh, who just hopped into the 88 at Richmond, uh, in the Xfinity series, how he came in, passed through the field, qualified port, made a mistake in qualifying, drove through the field. You know, when we look at what Lane Riggs did at IRP or in his first races in, um, I believe it was last year, possibly even the year before, um, would you play Lane Riggs at 7200? I did. I would. It's not like these guys are bad. Would you play Travis Quaffle at or Carson Quaffle at 7200? I would. Like, these guys are all showing speed, you know. Butterbean in a Tricon car, like, come on, we're, we're, we're going to play that man, you know, depending on where he qualifies, like, or, and it's not even depending on where he qualifies, if he projects anywhere near value, like, you know, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 points, I mean, let's, let, let's just play him, you know, so he's at 72, so he's, I mean, he's a pretty good anchor point, when we're looking at, let's go ahead and take a gander really fast at the salaries for these fellas um, in the truck series, also, I mean, like, for the, for the Cup Series really fast. We are at the point to where we are losing. I mean, we are late. We're mid-May, going into late May, entering June. These contests are getting smaller and smaller. Excuse me. Now, this is the All-Star Race, so it's still small. Uh, like, it's smaller than normal. But, like, 
you know, I mean, we're typically dealing with a 27,000 person contest now, the 17 will probably bounce back next week at Charlotte for like a 26, 27, maybe 25,000 person contest. But uh, these contests are getting smaller. This is like, look at this payout. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with top heavy, but oh, good, good God, man. Good, actually. And it's a shame that Roto Grinders, uh, what's her name? I forgot she left. But it's a shame that they just, they're like, ah, you know what, uh, our extension, just fucking never going to fix it. It's either going to work until DraftKings brings it or not. Uh, because all I've really used it for now is just to see what the contest pays out. Um, but man, this is, this is, this is a, this is a rough one. Rough one, man. I got to say, if you want to play something on, on, on Sunday, I'm telling you, man, F1 starts at eight o'clock. I think that's what you should be putting money into on Sunday. I think you should be doing. You should be playing the other sports that we offer projections for. Play NBA, play PGA this weekend. Uh, pull, pull some of that NASCAR money and put it towards other sports. Um, but yeah, when we're looking at the truck series stuff, like yeah, sure. I mean, we we have Chastain eleven five. We have Eric Amarola Eric in here, Sammy Smith in here. <clears throat> but like your main guys, we want to focus on are Eckes Heim and Ty Majeski. It'll depend on what, you know, these three individuals do, not the people I just mentioned for those that aren't watching the video. Uh, it'll depend on what Chastain, Eric Merle, and Sammy Smith show in practice and qualifying if we want to play them. But for the most part, we don't want to do that. We want to focus on the teams who have been fast at these tracks. That is Tricon, that's Bill McAnally, um, that's the Thor Sport guys. And for the most part, that is, I mean, Brennan this weekend Dean Thompson, Ankrum, Eckes, Corey Heim, Ty Majeski, um, the two Gray brothers. Like, those are the guys that we primarily want to focus on. And I mentioned the fact that we're probably going to lose Trey and or Justin. Um, even still, we're going to have plenty of guys in the 5K range to get there or pay up for as many people as we need. Um, so, I mean, it's really the tale of two different races for this weekend. For Friday stuff in the truck series, same old, same old we'll look at the practice stuff and I'll probably lean uh, way more on the practice data for this race than normal, just because it's a fresh racetrack. Um, the, I think that's what these guys are going to show in terms of speed uh, combine them with, with where they practice and, or where they qualify. And that's where I'm going to be. Whereas for the cup series event, because all this shit has taken over the course of like fucking three days and we're going to have 17 of the 20 cars at the end of Saturday. And then the last three on Sunday, like, I'm I'm personally not entering a lot. Uh, gonna like enter six to seven, keep my achievements, keep my crowns going or whatever. Um, but past that, like it's just not an event that I want to focus on a lot of. Um, I know we just went through that with the match play uh, with PGA two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Same thing. Like I'm just not. I just don't think this is a race that you should be putting a lot towards. Bouncing on to towards the Coke 600 next week. Bounced over to Gateway first week of June. Throw it into F1. Play NBA. Play PGA. Uh, play any of those things other than other than the Cup Series this weekend. That that's kind of where uh, that's kind of where I'm at. So I will see you guys in live show Saturday for the Truck Series, probably 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, around that point, Sunday will very much be determined on just what the schedule is looking like. If weather's a factor, whatever's going on, uh, it'll most likely be before the All Star Race itself. I'd ideally like to be live in between the Open and the All Star Race. But it could be a bit funky there. It could be a shorter show if that is the case. So I'll try and figure things out. And we'll we'll, we'll play it by here and see how it goes. But anyway, that is the All-Star Race Weekend Preview. I hope that helps you out in some form or fashion. I'm not trying to be lazy. I'm just saying I'm just not very interested in the Cup Series. And Truck Series is the same old, same old guys. So I will see you guys later. And I'll see you, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in live shows. Peace out.